conjuring. And we've protested and pointed out it's not a violation of even their, quote, policies that they are engaged in serious Soviet-style censorship and Facebook has been forced to back off. So the answer is use these platforms to keep them free and to point out that these movements by Europe demanding Twitter, Facebook, and Google censor things is an attempt for an EU tyranny to come into place. They can get away with virtually anything they want. And understand that when you spread the word about Infowars.com or PrisonPlanet.com, when you support our sponsors, when you buy products from InfoWarsStore.com, when you donate at InfoWars.com forward slash money bomb, we're going to email out to all our email list and everywhere else, the links you can donate, $5, $100, $1,000, $10,000, 100% of the money, I put it in a special account, that comes in from these money bombs will go directly to the syndication of radio and TV, directly to the studios, directly to crew, directly to reporters, directly to camera people, directly to plane tickets to send our reporters places and to really expose what's happening and to really give the people of the planet a chance to see what's going on. For money making, most domestic shows target domestic audiences. We're not here to make money. Money is fuel to fund our true passion of fighting corruption, of fighting the new dark age of tyranny. And so when you buy the products, when you go to Infowars.com forward slash money bomb, we'll put that on screen for you. When you do that, when you support what we're doing, when you buy the products, there's many ways to support. You are not behind us. You're at the very heart of this operation. And I know that many of you understand that, but I want all of you to consciously realize the huge effect that you've been ha having. It's, it's massive. And I understand the responsibility that I have to tell the truth, to fight harder, to be as eloquent as I can, to get the best guest on we can, to reach out to you as best I can, to fire you up to take action so that we go in as hard and as fast and as focused and as truthful as our frail, imperfect human bodies and souls can do. We're going to skip this network break, only this one. But that's what this comes down to. This is a huge historical time to be alive. We are seeing the manifestation of classical oppression, classical totalitarianism, classical police state surveillance that the world has never seen. Europe is going pure tyranny. The U.S. is falling into staggering corruption. But the good news is the polls show the people have never been more awake. The evidence shows people want to do something about it, but they need a media outlet. They need a place to come together. They need more outlets and more venues so that they can understand that they're not alone and so that their tips, their videos, their comments, their information can be seen and heard and not censored and then given on and passed on to others. And out of this giant spectrum of wonderful organizations and great media operations and beautiful souls across the world fighting the scientific takeover that is corporate fascism, globalism, masquerading as grassroots communism, InfoWars stands out at the very top. Now, quite frankly, I would hit my knees in joy and cry my eyes out if some organization rose up more eloquent, more focused, more dynamic, more serious, more committed, it has not happened. And so I must give my full energy, my soul. I'm exhausted sometimes and I have to dig deep and actually pour out my, my very essence to do this. That's what you need to do. Money is only a symbol of your commitment, spreading the word and going out and shooting video and producing your own reports is even greater. And I want you to do that. I want you to take action. I want to see your material from the grassroots aired here. But I will tell you now, if you won't go to Infowars.com forward slash money bomb and donate right now, if you won't spread the word and send that link out to friends and family to the free video feed, if you won't support our local sponsors and local AM and FM stations, 
Uh, if you won't buy the products at InfoWarsLife.com, if you won't take action, if you won't wear a political T-shirt to stand up against this oppression, you're going to lose everything. The globalists want to bring in a tyranny because they plan to oppress the people. The globalists want to bring in a tyranny because they know you're going to use the legitimate means of media to come after everyone. They're, they want to get rid of legitimate media so we can't fight back. They want to come in and be able to shut down whoever they want and do it in the dark where no one is aware of it. It's already happening in Spain. It's happening in Germany. It's happening in Greece. It's happening in the UK. It's starting to happen here. They, meanwhile, fire up the left to go out and start killing police to get them to become even more militarized so they can be misdirected against the patriots. The takeover is here. It's happening. Everyone can feel it. Everyone can see it. And so many people get caught in a trick. They think, just keep your head down, stay out of it, and you'll be all right. Or, better yet, join with the New World Order. In your gut, you know that means destruction of your very will and enslavement. And it puts your soul in peril, which you do have one. But more importantly to people that don't care about things that really matter, it puts this temporal world and prosperity on the chopping block because under the globalist own statements, they're ending the age of prosperity. They're ending the Renaissance. They're ending private property for the average person. They're ending individual free will. They are bringing in an absolutely destructive system on so many fronts. The fruits of the new world order are bondage, are, 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 are sad, are pathetic, uh, are starving children. It's ignorance. And everything it holds out, enlightenment, empowerment, saving the earth, everything they say they want to do, it's the opposite. They're coming for our families. They're coming for our children. They're coming for the unborn. They're coming for everything. They want total, complete micromanagement and domination that the computer allows them through their minions to carry out. And they want total compliance. But to get that first, they've got to bring you to your knees. But bringing 7.5 billion people to their knees is hard. And if the people know that it's premeditated in a plan, there's nothing it can do. That's why, as they brazenly advertise free welfare, and as they brazenly bring down the Middle East and have their proxy armies flush out these populations, they bring them in with leftist social workers to fill them full of Western hate against the West and to bring them in as the new destabilization force to fully complete Europe's enslavement as we are being fully enslaved by the Latin American invasion and the European and the Chinese and the rest of the world checkmate against this country. You are seeing 21st century warfare. You're seeing World War III right now being conducted by the big five mega banks and the insurance companies and the propaganda firms and the systems. And it's a war against every sovereign country. It's a war against individuals. It's a war against the very militaries and police that are being used up in the struggle against their own populations. It is a premeditated, ordered out of chaos program. We are seeing just incredible times. How could you watch History Channel now or read a history book when you're watching the most fantastical history ever? Thousands of cross species with humans spliced with every animal you can imagine. Humans implanted for 20 years inside cows and pigs. Every form of genetic chimera blaspheme. Open air crops by the thousands creating all sorts of new illnesses and allergies. Mega cancers rising, diabetes off the chart, neurological disorders spreading like wildfire, the death numbers exploding. One in 58 with autism. You can really see the soft kill plan of the eugenicist developed by British intelligence, deployed by Hitler on a low level, now being operated out in the open, and you see the will of Satan. The will of hell being unloosed. You see God stepping aside. You're going to let your veterans die. You're going to let your old people die. You're going to let your babies die. 
Do you going to stand by while your neighbor dies of cancer and just raise money for him, but not try to find out why cancer is exploding? You know what I'm going to do? God says I'm going to remove my protection from you. I'm going to let what you now desire, what you worship, turn loose. I've warned you. I've told you what's coming. God has, through his people, put out the messages. You've now been told over and over again. That's the only reason outlets like this have been so successful is because metaphysically, it's a rule that you be warned over and over and over again. And see, this is going to happen. Boom, it happens. Now, this is going to happen. It happens. Now, this is going to happen. It happens. Until now, at the very end, before billions are killed, before world war, before mass diseases, the rise of robots, the stuff you're going to see in the next 20, 30 years that's going to make this look like the most fantastical science fiction nightmare you've ever seen with the elite on synthetic drugs where they're in heaven and don't even care. Until they begin to fall as well and then scream, our false reality wasn't real, the drugs weren't real, the Satanism wasn't real, the sex wasn't real, you didn't protect us! And they're going to pull their hair out in their bunkers and bleed out of their eyes. And all of you that worship weakness, all of you that love death will be given a giant, bleeding, stinking cup. Your mouths will be opened and all of that satanic evil will be poured into your soul.